Hi YouTube, Tim Uckert here. In this video, we're gonna install PHP on a Chromebook in 2024. So I'm gonna go over here down to my launcher, click on the launcher, and I'm going to either search up here for settings, but I actually see settings right here. So I'm gonna click on settings. And on the left-hand side, I have a bunch of options. I'm gonna go down to about Chrome OS, click on that, and down near the bottom of About Chrome OS, I have this option to turn on a Linux development environment. Now, if you don't have this and you have a Chromebook that's older than 2019, that might be why. Um, this is for more modern Chromebooks. Also, if you have a MediaTek Chromebook or like a ARM Chromebook, you may or may not have this option. I don't have one of those, so I can't speak to that. I have a Chromebook that, ha this one has an AMD chip. Uh, other this will also work for Intel-based Chromebooks. So I'm going to click on the setup for the Linux development environment and a wizard's going to pop up and I'll click next and it'll pop up with a username and a recommended disk size. The username is, I believe, based off your email. Change that now if you want to change that. The disk size is easy to change at any point. Um, you could just click custom and drag this slider around. I'm just going to stick with recommended and I'm going to click install. That's going to take a few moments to go ahead and install, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once Linux is installed, the terminal will pop up. I'm going to close out my settings at this point and just maximize the terminal and increase the font size. Uh, we do want to make sure everything's up to date, so the first command I'm going to type in is sudo apt update, and then 2 ampersand sudo apt upgrade with the dash y flag here. I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to go ahead and make sure that everything's up to date. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that that has run through, we can clear everything out. And I'm going to type sudo apt install php, a space, and then php dash common. Hit enter. And that's going to take about 29 megabytes of space. I'm going to say yes to take the extra space. And it's going to go ahead and install. Okay, I'm going to clear everything out. And just to check that we have php installed, I can do php hyphen v. Here we see at the time of this recording, the uh, PHP version is 8.2.20. So that's on Debian Bookworm. That's the, the version that comes with it. Um, so now if we want to create a PHP file, let's, let's first make a directory. Let's call this uh, PHP. I'm going to CD into PHP. And I'm just going to create a file called index.php. Okay. And we'll start with my PHP tags and just echo something out. Uh, hello there and then I'll close my PHP tag and quit out of here. And now we can start up the local PHP server with PHP dash uh, uppercase S and then localhost, whatever we want. So I'm gonna do 4000. Okay, so that's starting at localhost 4000. So now if I open up my browser here and do localhost 4000, uh, if I zoom in here, you'll see I am echoing out hello there. So everything's working with the PHP server. Um, to stop it, we just do Control C. Okay, so um, there you go. You got PHP installed on your Chromebook. Um, if you want to get rid of everything, including the Linux development environment, all your files, be careful about this, of course, um, you can just easily delete the Linux development environment by going to your launcher, going back to settings, going to about Chrome OS, click on Linux development environment, and you just click remove. It'll ask you, do you want to delete everything? Uh, you confirm, and then it'll go ahead and delete. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.